I believe creativity, we channel it through our higher self. And I love that you're saying that it gives that egoic self a job mm -hmm. to, to actually kind of like ex be like, oh, look at me, look at me, right? Yeah, it's, it's how you get noticed is your ego. It's how you get around in showbiz in part, which is your ego. And the ego is always going, what about the rest of the credit? I mean, how come you keep taking them out? Then? <laughs> right. But not me. Because all the pop psychology is against me, but I'm the one that got you the fucking job. I love that. <laughs> yes. And and we were talking earlier, Rick, and you were saying uh, uh, that you believe that we get the inspiration from the quantum field. And I was concerned that whenever I did a dark comedy bit in my stand up, that I would be manifesting that reality that I'm speaking, even though I am I don't want it to happen. So I, I think we were it was fun to see how we were looking at both ends of the process. So tell me how do you feel about creativity and how do we quote unquote grab that from the quantum field? You know, as a comedian, uh, I, we all dally dark at times. That's just going to naturally happen. But, uh, eventually it's like choosing your battles. You also choose your moral battles and the moral of the story battles and how many bits should just be a bit and just get a laugh because it's funny. And as you get older, the more it's, do I want to be known for that bit now? The more I understand that there's a very complex dynamic around everything. And whether people consciously get it, that's not completely the whole story of what we're dealing with. They subconsciously get lots of it. And it guides how they laugh. It guides if they ever want to pay a penny to see you ever again. Lots of things. But it also is your spiritual path. Do you want to put your head on the pillow at night? 